<risos> ah, ninguém. Experience is suitable for most new players. We recommend a hard difficulty for turn based combat and veterans looking for a tactical challenge. Now, with difficulty settings applied to all Dragonfall and music career content that you play, you can change your difficulty settings below at any time from the main menu. Anytime? Let's, go. Let's do hard. Ah, it. Um. Here comes the hard part. Human elf, dwarf, orc, troll. Human elf, tech uh, mage, tech street samurai, shaman. Adapt. Holy shit. This is random, as far as I remember. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Deku have intelligence. Intelligence get you for some situations, but. Attributes, charisma, key skills, spirit, summoning, increasing skill, grass, shaman, too. If it is a shaman, and 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 is a fuck. And is this adept? Don't be a troll. <laughs> a tank. Mage. Should I play mage? Fuck. Like a deck or mage? Deck or mage? I don't fucking know. Street samurai. Body and strength and quickness. From weapons dodge. Let's do mage. Oh, it's auto. Why I'm so red? Uh, I guess I'm fine. For now. Oh fuck. I'm not sure. Let's 
so far to the return. This dude. Yeah. Karma presents experience here. Yeah. I'm so my fucking mage, so wow. Uh, shattering mages. That's that's uh, uh, intelligence. Yeah. What does it do? It's nothing. Using Dakin or Rigging to calculate the chance to hit with computer programs and drones. Also used to reduce the chance to hit by enemy programs and magic sets. Uh, that's all for Deckers? Really? And I need willpower. Used to calculate the chance to hit with magical attacks. I also used to reduce the chance to be hit by enemy magical attacks. Fucking god, I should come deck her. Oh, spell cost to make component to calculate the chance to hit a certain spells, increasing skill, unlock special abilities. Like what? Spell books not, lay lines. Increase spell book slot. Spell book slot. Lay lines. Maximum. For dwarves. Really? Dwarves are best spell costers? Oh fuck. She costed. Oh fuck you. Yeah. Uh, charisma because etiquette. Summon conjuring now. Oh, and I have two carbon. Yeah, sure. I don't need anything else. Ranged combat pistol. Shit. You haven't spent karma. Are you sure you want to finish character creation start of the game? You may spend karma late any time by accessing the character screen. Confirm. Um. um. Corporate. Life was good, easy jobs, regular pay, reliable crew, but things went south and you had to drop off the grid. Put a bullet in the past and start fresh somewhere new. The promise of opportunity and anonymity draws you to the free seat of Berlin, the flock state, grand experiment in social order. Corporations tread carefully here, even the great dragon Lothvir, Lothvir, Lothvir only has so much sway in the constant evolving power structure of Berlin. A perfect place for a savvy shadow runner to disappear and begin anew. Second paragraph of in you. And as luck would have it, home is to your old partner in crime, Monica Schaffer. It's your third round with Monica and her team, an old castle held fast one hour east of Berlin, perched on a hill overlooking the countryside. A job as a standard smash and grab. Crack the vault, grab the data, get out in one piece. A mediocre payday, but work is work. As the team gathers for Monica's pre run breathing, you pause to take in your surroundings. Fucking god. Indicious. 
The Herfield Manor, 2054, one hour east of Berlin. The Astrid Grounds are silent, save for the faint whistle of the wind. Your team gathers near a signed entrance to the old castle and hold fast, clogged in darkness. The night is peaceful. You know it won't last. You know it for what it was. A pleasant illusion that will shut at the sound of the first gunshot. Listen up, folks. Monica Schaffer, you run with her back in the day, watched her get her first data jack. Now she's your team leader and a deck or decorative with Picard. Will I read all this? Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh yeah, I hope everything's all right. When I ha uh, we we uh, we're on a tight timetable. I want to enter the state, find the basement, open the data vault, extract the files, and board. Ten minutes, top to bottom. Trying to get home in time for Wim talk, love. Dietrich, shaman, the old man of the team. He smiles at her. His, fa his facial tattoos are riven in the moonlight. Monica's eyes twinkle with mischief. Maybe. How many times have I told you? I can't trust anything that comes out of a dragon's mouth. That tree trash will rot your brain. She grins. It's educational. Besides, this should be a milk run. Security is supposed to be light. A few automatic weapons, no armor. With a little luck, we will never know what we were here. Oh my god, this is my fucking face. Can I change it later? I, I mean, when I was looking at it the first time, just like, oh, this dude is it just, he has this hair. It's cool. Well, okay. I've been looking a lot like myself. Um, um, um. Milk run. Oh, what's your pack of the same? Just like old times there. Monica's smile returns more wistful this time. The moonlight catches his face at a strange angle. Yeah. Just like old times. Milk run or not, we should be careful. Glory, raise a cloth street samurai. Her voice is cold and neutral, her expression placid. They may only be pride security, but their bullets don't know that. I can patch you up if I have to, but I'd rather not have to. You people need to relax. They're professionals, remember? Monica raises her arm and speaks into her wrist mounted comlink. A darkened face shimmers on the view screen. Iger, I in position? The comlink crackles and the response comes back loud and soft, softer than you'd expect from a troll. Affirmative. The alarm lines have been cut, and I have a clear line of fire in the state service entrance. When you exit the building, the path will be clear. Excellent. Thank you, Iger. Just doing my job. I go out. The comedy goes dark. Monica winks at you as she drops her arm. See? We're professionals. Alright, people. Enough chatter. Our client wants the data from the world, so we get him the data from the world. Quick. Quiet. And quick. You say quick twice. She grins. Virm talk isn't tonight. Gloria raises an eyebrow. Slightly. Told you, it's educational. Get your stuff and we'll head in. Crappy gear from the van. Oh god, what are you doing here? I have to count on mission items, none. Do you have any of. Oh fuck. They're replaying a mage now? Oh yeah, I'm a mage. I'm, 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 I'll use some kind of uh, pistol, SMG, rifle, shotgun. Probably knives, chatting. SMG, but pistol probably be better. <laughs> uh, power bolt, mana bolt. You grab your running gear from a worn duffel bag near a weaponry. Heal wound. Nice. Trauma kit. Uh, 1250. New yen. A powerful magical bolt appears as to armor. 
She heals all the damage from the most recent attack. Share is good on with her, uh, other health and spells. A Bumona trauma kit? What? I think it was a dog wagon. Oh, it's a Berlin, what I'm talking about. It's a Bumona, supposedly. And dog wagon is for Seattle. Restore as a teammate to life with 25% of their total health. Consume and use it all on death. Cyberware. Oh, fuck. Now, oh, is this solar panels? Car, car! Trash cans! Oh look, lions, with angels. I wanna get out! I wanna get- oh fuck, it's a dragon. Hello team. Okay, uh, um, Monica, Dietrich, his girl, and uh, somewhere there is a troll. I think music is too low. New objective, keep the team alive. Uh -huh. The Parade Museum, the owner of the state must have money to burn. Books. A variety of remarkably well preserved Slavic artifacts. The complete skeleton of a ferropod dinosaur that appears to be. Fuck. That appears to be genuine. Inspect. The vase in this case looks both very old and very valuable. A fine scroll work of lapis and coal leaf decorates its exterior, and the interior shimmers with the organic beauty of abalone shell. Your fixer could probably move this thing in a heartbeat. You can't help but notice that the glass in case in it looks awfully flimsy. Smash the glass, okay, please, you're coming with me. Walk away. That's what's here. The cask in the display case is decorated with inlaid panels of ivory screen show. <sighs> it's like intro, it shouldn't be anything like, like really bad now. Oh, fuck. The vase looks very, every bit as enticing and enticing now as it did the first time I inspected it, and taking it now would be just a bad idea. I guess it's additional money if I had enough dexterity, maybe. That's very circumstantial. Strange. Ooh, something Japanese. Let's go south. What the hell? You know, in turn based combat mode, and I chose fucking hard difficulty, so it would be fucking. Uh, guy. It's a good thing I know how to play this. If it would be deck, I could hawk it. Okay, I have mana boat. It takes 
cooldown too. Chats one. So I better get close. Shit. Four. Dietrich. Dragon Slayer Idol. Work. Oh. Oh. Nope. No! Shit. There goes my turn. Still not done. I don't have any hawkers here. Nah, I guess not. Oh, she's a decker. Security alert response plan. Quebec 6. Matic operational locked. HDR team responding. Deck in 2. Matic operations unlocked. Are we still not done here? Oops. So far away. And through. <laughs> okay. This is okay. I'll check it later.
ranged pistol, dodge, throw new weapons, close combat, buy attack. All right. Yeah, it's a little different in Hong Kong. It's awesome. Turk Erosion Duster Did I Oh my fucking god Take with delivery schedule. Yeah, I pay data. Can I safely eject myself? No. No. I'll just wait here. <laughs> Let's 
take him out first. Shit. Museum. The whole man around. So far, so good. If you skirmish with security instead of an alarms, you don't hear them. Monica leads the rest of the team downward into the basement of a harmful manner. Your payday is waiting. The data vault lies ahead. Fuck. The rain did three eyes the door and turns to Monica. That's a big freaking vault. Lipkin. Bigger than and on the schematic. The schematic didn't have a date. Our client may have out tinto. Still, our instructions were clear. The date we're looking for should be just the other side of this door. Monica combs a hand through her hair part in the to the reel with black plastic sheath on her data jack. A quick jaunt into the matrix, a little digital way hand waving, and I'll have this thing wide open. Be right back. A burst of static crackles through the tiny speakers Monica Comling. 
Eiger, still in position outside the estate. Hello, Monica. Who's in charge of our jacked in? Monica rolls her eyes. Dietrich fixes his stare intently on the vault door. Glory looks cold and distant, just as she always does. They've been through this before, Eiger. You're not in a chaos key anymore. And that chain of command nonsense doesn't fly in the shadows. We don't need rules and regulations to guide us. The same principles that apply to the flux state. Please, spare me the lecture. Your politics have nothing to do with this. Past get used to it. I go love. She sees. Look, it's a simple question. Years of experience tell me that it needs an answer. I guess right, Monica, we should have a second command just in case. And Dietrich is someone in this take charge, you don't have. You don't have time for this, I'm uh, taking two. Why don't I take crack at Vidu instead? Let me show you what I can do. Oh, and so also with a bad mage. It's just a fucking mage. And with Dietrich, if someone needs to take charge, it'll happen. I guess we're actually right. Uh, Monica stares at you for a moment, clearly irritated. Then the twinkle appears in her eyes again. She smiles at you as she speaks into her comlink. Very well, we'll do this one I goes away. When I'm jacked in, Ankick is in charge. Wait, me? The fuck? There is pause when I guess voice crackles out of the comlink again. Ankick? Did I hear right? You put in the rookie and command? Uh, but you were a pro, I could catch an artist in the front of the team as well. And this night you asked for a decision, you could have won. This is ridiculous. I, I know that is a chalk to you, Monica, but I'm telling you. I go. Monica Stone is all business. Evidently, she has had enough. The decision's made. You have your answer. Acknowledged. Without another award, Ayuga's image flickers and fades from Monica's communicator. Sorry about that, um, Ayuga can be inflexible. The legacy for long military career. But she knows what she's doing and she means well. Instead of anything, she hardly knows me. <laughs> I bought her beer or something. Oh, I haven't read this. Good man, I guess skills and experience are invaluable into this team. It would be good to have you on your side. Okay, enough chatter. Let's get this done. Monica turns towards the door, fingers poised on the controls of her cyber deck, then glances back at you with green. See you on the other side. And she punches it, projecting her conscious into cyberspace. Her fingers harmonizing with the smooth, rhythmic staccato that only an expert decker can achieve. I'm doing nothing, am I? Oh shit! They want warning. Monica's back arched violently and her head jerks back, silencing her terrible screams. Muscle spasm ripple through her face and her jaw snaps shut, sending a mist of blood spraying from between her teeth. He looked down to see another thing flash the floor, the tip of her tongue. The room explodes into action. Glory leaps towards Monica, her hand outstretched to yank the cord from her daddy jack. Dietrich surges forward to wrap the team's fallen deck in a beer hog, holding her against her convulsion rocks and body. If Monica's unnerved scream still ringing sharply in your head, you're only dimly aware of it. Do you slam and shut behind you? Yeah, 
just like uh, every one of them is doing something themselves and to do uh, something else. This cyber deck was constructed with a standard bomb blast. Try as you might, you can manage to crack its case and they don't damage the only circuitry. That's shameful. Well, you beat on the deck and vain glory manages to yank the cord out of Monica's head. A wisp of oily blue smoke traces its way from her data check to the ceiling. The commingled scent of charred mead and ozone fill the air. You've seen the ethics of biofeedback before, but nothing like this. Suddenly, Monica's eyes flutter open. Muscle tremors continue to distort her face, and blood oozes between her lips. You see the muscle in her jaw dance in the look of a concentration in her eyes. She's struggling to speak. Talk to me, Monica. What are you trying to say? Yeah, I'm useless. Slowly, painfully, Monica wrestles her jaw open. The blood welled up in her mouth comes pouring out in slick covering her chest. She expels a thick, guttural sound that might be a word. Satisfied, she closes her eyes and forces her mouth to make the shapes she needs. Fear! With an effort, Monica opens her eyes again and meets yours. You see pain and fear in her gaze. And something else? Hope? Oh. For your shrink. A sudden spasm jerks Monica's head back again. She grunts. Then her chin drops to her chest and her head troll lows. Toes? Lows? Lows and what? To one side. Her eyes fix on an object in the next room. A computer terminal. The soft light of the cursor blinks on its recessed screen. Slowly, she attempts to speak again. But the only sound that emerges is a long, strangled croak. A look of resignation washes over Monica's face and she stops fighting. Her gross slick jaw calls slack and she dies. And it's enemy turn. Yeah. Monica, no, no, this isn't happening. We've got hostels. The creature isn't dead about. We need to get out of here fast. Speaking too fast for me. Okay, what should I do? A bunch of them. And one character less. Dietrich. Oh god. Oh god. So bad. This was your mistake. Activate the terminal. Okay. And suppose build a maintenance software V101 command line interface. Internal memory checksum invalid. That's repeating my name. 
Petrix scans the room nervously. They've sealed the door behind us. We've got to find an way out of here. What are you doing? Monique was trying to tell me something about this terminal. It must be important. Well, any ideas? Something tells me we're going to have more company soon. Okay, w watch my back while well, I'll figure this out. Text continues to scroll down to terminal screen. The terminal screen. A problem has been detected for core component MCPOS. Restore MCPOS to factor default settings. Yes, no. Warning. Restore process will take several minutes to execute connected doors and peripherals to be designed to incomplete. Oh, it's, it will get me an, an escape route. Yes, hit the Y key. As you watch, the number on the screen slowly begins to climb. This is going to take a while. You glance down at the second screen to see that the facility is on high alert. In place of a simple data world, it seems you've stumbled upon some kind of massive underground complex. A map of a hold force grounds indicates that security forces are en route from multiple angles. The door is currently being rebooted by the system's stop process of flashing dull red. If you're reading the display correctly, the only exit from this room is a hold fast old servant's entrance on the western side of the building. At the moment, Iger's image wings and you're combining with a crackling sound. The image is green, flickering in and out. What's going on down there? Rookie, talk to me. Monik's down, Iger. The fault was set up. What? Now, now time to explain. We'll be exit exiting via an old service entrance to the west of the main grounds. I'll need to keep that exit clear. Iger's silence is thick, but when she finally responds, her tone is professional. Roger that. She cuts out without another word. Roy turns to face you, her movements smooth and robotic. Her voice comes out in a frosty monotone. What's the play, Ankit? Our escape route will be open in a minute. We hold tight until then. By hold tight, you mean sit here and fry anyone who comes through the door, don't you? Pretty much, yeah. Dietrich's pained expression twists in the mask of hate. His hands begin to glow with primal energy. I can do that. Good, now let's find some cover and wait for the door locks to disarm. Survive for 10 turns, I guess. That's a better guess. Okay, I need the western door, I think. There's a dead Monica here. Let's, let's take this position. Some kind of reactor.
Oh no. Shotgun? No, please. Okay, I guess this guy is so stronger than usual ones. What should I do? <laughs> Fuck. The figure lopping toward you is big, even for an orc. The majority of his body is sheathed in suit of heavy, overlapping plates. What you can see of his face looks like raw and slick, like an old scar tissue stretched tight over his skull. He's wear, he wears an expression of supreme confidence. Alright friends, payton's over. All your shadow runners are the same. Skulking, sneaking. Still a ways or two from the museum. No harm. Maybe I'd let you scamper away in the night. But now it's too late for this sort of green generosity. Visitors aren't welcome down here. The gaping mouth of the minigun jerks upward. An impatient gesture loaded the fifth malice. Drop your weapons and surrender. That's military great armor he's wearing on hick. Hardened against small arms fire. We'll have a tough time getting through it. I'm less conf concerned about the armor than I'm about with minigun. Most things can tear man in half. You have three seconds before I open the hose. Step out here and surrender, and I promise I'll make this easy. Who are you? Can you talk about it? No. The orcs gaunt at his tight fist titans, and you hear the distinctive rear of his vindicator's motor spinning up to speed. The barrels begin to blow as he wields the weapon to face you. Oh fuck. I mean, oh fuck. And five turns. Yeah, nice. Oh, what am I doing? No. Oh my fucking god. Because they exist. Okay, this guy is as far away.
this it doesn't make explosions. Hitrich will define. Okay, good. The door unlocks if you loud click. Something, something, something. Oh, I still need to run somewhere. Here? Ike rises from her corpse, strength perch at your approach. From the look on her face, it's obvious that she's already sized up the situation. I knew this was going to happen. I fucking knew it. The run was a trap. Oh, it was, was it? Ike grits her teeth and shakes her head. We can talk about this later. For now, we gotta get the hell out of here. It's only a matter of time before more of them come pouring out of that exit. I guess that's the sign of a van. Piling people and unlock. When you get back to the girls' bazaar, we are going to have a little talk. The Crow's Bazaar. Kreuzberg, home to nearly half a million people and until very recently Monica Schaffer. Once a melting pot of cultural diversity, it's now a chaotic mass of wealth and poverty, crime and commerce, anarchy and control. It's also home to your own little slice of Berlin, a neighborhood which is called the Kreuz Bazaar, a safe port in the eye of the storm. The ride back to the Kreuz Bazaar is quiet. No one's in talking mood. As the one veers past potholes and garbage piles, the glare of the street lights and neon signs blaze across your window painting the world in a kaleidoscope of garish colors. Soon the van rounds the corner and skids to a halt in the narrow, crumbling alley, as as far as the burden's chaotic streets will take you. A team wordlessly debarks the vehicle and climbs down into the disused section, disused section of the U-Bahn and tunnel system, a well-kept secret, providing your team safe passage into the cross bazaar. Your safe house waits on the other side. Auto saved. And 
does it work? Okay. Let's get inside. Can happen this fast enough now. As soon as we get it, as soon we can get drunk. Okay. Anyway, it will be safe here and it will end here. Hooray! Yay! That's fun.